it comes to nutrition, how do you know you're getting expert advice? And if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of info out there. And registered dietitian nutritionist Neva Cochran is here to clear up some of those gray areas for us. First, explain to me what is the difference between what a real expert mm -hmm. is and somebody who claims to be an expert that maybe they got their certificate online or something like yes. that. Yes, and uh, I do have a picture here of one of my colleagues who got a certificate for her dog online. She filled out, here he is. Are you kidding? Um, he filled out, she filled out the application, sent in the money, and he is now a, a member of the Association of Nutritional Consultants. And, okay. you know, there are degrees <laughs> you can get online that are non-accredited right. and certificates and all kinds of credentials. But actually, to be a registered dietitian nutritionist like I am, you have to have a bachelor's degree in nutrition, okay. nutrition dietetics, food science, or it doesn't matter what the name is, but there is a core uh, curriculum that you have to follow, which includes four semesters of chemistry, including biochemistry, physiology, right. microbiology, food prep, fruit, food science, and a lot of nutrition courses that you incorporate biochemistry and physiology. So I really understand what's in the food, right. what happens as it goes down and is digested, and when it's absorbed and goes into the cell. Okay. So sometimes these other nutritionists sound like they have a lot of information because they'll string a lot of jargon words together like toxins and cleanses, but in truth, you know, you have to understand what's going on with the body to right. really understand nutrition. Right. All right, Neva, let's talk uh, gluten-free. Gluten-free. Okay, so these are, you know, five things that real nutrition experts wish people would quit saying about food. And this gluten-free trend, I have never seen anything like it my whole... Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. And uh, basically, 1% of the people have celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disease that means when they eat gluten, uh, it causes a problem with their Digestive. intestine, okay. and they can't digest it, and it stays in there, and it starts... Uh, causing pain and all kinds of symptoms. Right. Uh, another 6% of people probably have a gluten sensitivity that's not celiac. So that means only 7% have some problem with gluten. 20 mm -hmm. to 30% of people are trying to avoid gluten because they think it's healthier. Right. There is nothing wrong with gluten. It's a protein in wheat. There's no reason that everybody has to avoid it. But what's interesting is a lot of people are using it as a marketing tool now. So people get the impression that it's bad and it's not. And if okay. you, it's in wheat, rye and barley. Mm -hmm. These are really nutrient rich foods. Like right. the main source of folic acid in our diet comes from wheat. So right. when you don't eat it, you're not getting that. You're not eating fiber, prebiotics, a lot of good okay. things. This cereal box says gluten free. That's okay because people might not know what grain is in it. Mm -hmm. But dried cranberries, it says gluten free on the dried cranberries. Right. Like of course it's when, when did cranberries start wheat having wheat, barley, or rye? Okay, what about tea bags? Oh my gosh. I was in the the uh, grocery store a few months ago and I was walking by the tea aisle and uh -huh. I saw this gluten-free shelf tag uh -huh. and I was just like that's hysterical. okay like tea is tea it so doesn't have the, wheat rye or so barley the keyword that people are putting on things that have yeah. nothing to do with it just so that they can claim and therefore and, get and the somehow shelf. now people are right. getting the impression that gluten is bad and it's not okay what about good foods, bad foods? Okay, there are no good or bad foods or good or bad ingredients. It's how you put your whole diet together. So, um, you know, you could eat what you think is a wonderfully good food, like carrots, mm -hmm. and if that's all you eat, that's not a good diet. Then it's a bad food. Right. <laughs> um, and then, you know, well, if you eat a piece of chocolate cake, but all day you've gotten your fruits, your vegetables, your grains, your lean proteins, and your dairy, mm -hmm. that chocolate cake is not a bad food. It fits into the day. Right. So it's not looking at bad or good foods, but that overall you're eating a mm -hmm. balance of really mm -hmm. nutrient rich foods from mm -hmm. all the food groups mm -hmm. and then you have you you can have a few calories for those extra all right what do you say about detox cleanses okay first of all we do not have toxins just running around our body okay. uh, you do not need to fast or go on a juice fast in order to cleanse your body in fact what happens is the opposite will happen okay if you are literally starving yourself you create toxins in the body if you know anybody that has insulin dependent diabetes and they have ketoacidosis have you ever heard that it's it's a it's not a good thing okay. but that's what's going to happen if you're not eating enough calories your body will start breaking down fat and when it breaks down fat very rapidly uh -huh. it makes these things called ketones and you right. get ketoacidosis and that has all kinds of bad symptoms so and actually, You're not, actually forces, you, forces you to store the fat, is that right? No, no, it, it's really burning the fat, but it's burning very rapidly, so you get these products. But what I want to, uh, to make sure people understand is that we, the body detoxifies. The kidneys uh, filter, the liver detoxifies, your, your GI tract gets rid of stuff that you don't need. So there is a natural process in place in your body okay. to get rid of 
toxins. All right. Well, thank you, Neva. Great information, as always. And we know we can rely on you. You are the expert. Thank you. All right. And you can get more information from Neva by going to our website, and that's thebroadcasttv.com, and then click on today's links. Okay. We've got some delicious cocktails for you the, for the upcoming Labor Day weekend with our friends. Uh, Miss Haley is here. So when the broadcast comes back, we're going to show you some, some new ideas.